Pastor Meredith, uh, thank you for all you do. I have been learning a lot these past few weeks listening to the podcast. Rock on. Mm -hmm. Um, I was invited by a group of people from a new local church in the area to attend their Bible study group and have been going for a while. It is a Wesleyan church. This means like Methodist and probably actually it sounds like Bible believing Methodist, like real Methodist, not like the United Methodist Church, which is just woke. Um, uh, it's got about 40 members. Uh, it was a very small church plant that is trying to grow and expand, and I have since made good friends with a group of the guys. I don't necessarily think it's wrong to be in a Bible study per se, as they do profess Jesus' death and resurrection and all the other fundamental beliefs of Christianity, except baptism baptismal and regeneration Lord's and the Lord's Supper being the true body and blood of Jesus. So, I mean, it's, it's just, ah, it's kind of a big deal. Without flesh, you should pick it up. Um, and you think, okay, well that, okay, so they disagree about that, but we agree about everything else. It's, it's going to kind of permeate It's everything. like a chemistry set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and it's not that they're all evil all the time, but I would not want to learn from a pastor who has no sacramental understanding. I, a little I, leaven? Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> um, I mean, to sit down with a group of guys from different denominations and, and talk about, what we believe is one thing to be discipled by someone who believes something that we vehemently disagree with is, is another thing. So that's, that's kind of the issue there. Um, it says, I do recognize that as a non-Lutheran church, they differ on certain doctrines like baptism and communion, for example. I am the only Lutheran in the men's group. The rest of the members of the group already go to the church. Some members are even pastors of the church. Yeah, so you're their mission. You realize mm-hmm. that, right? Um, they're trying to get you... Uh, They do know that I am a Lutheran and are okay with me joining the group because they want you to become one of them. Uh, And they don't pressure me to go to their church. No, they just believe over time that you will. Um, The men's group, and you might, honestly. I mean, it's just kind of, you've got the social connection there that it would seem your church doesn't provide for you, right? So there's nothing like this at your church, which is sad, but true, right? So the men's group also does volunteer work in the community, which I join in with as well, and less of an issue there. That, that's that's probably the part you should stick to. Um, however, my concern is whether I am becoming too involved in a church or group that I know I won't join. Yes. Going to Bible study at a church that is not a church you would worship at is going to worship at a church that you would not worship. A Bible study is worship. You just don't sing. Okay? But it's, it, there's, it's preaching. Okay? Um, so I, I would... I mean, my, I'm jumping ahead. He's got more questions. But my answer is, stop going to Bible study and hang out with them and all the other stuff they do. You know, but get out of the Bible study. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to really burn any bridges, as many of them are Christian friends, and we even hang out in non-religious settings. Like, keep doing that. You know? But I'm wondering if there is some wisdom on what lines I should not cross. Yeah, I, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't go to the Bible study in which I'm the only one who is not believing what they're teaching. Um, I would go if I were the one teaching it. Right? I'd teach a bunch of people who don't believe what I did. But, but I, I would not go. And I mean, it's just, you're just over time going to move. Over time, they're going to change you. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to become really bitter and angry about it at some point. Um, uh, which events or volunteer opportunities should I ever take in? And to what extent should I bring up my beliefs in the men's group Bible study with me being the guest? I'd be like, all the time. Oh, well, I'm the guest and I think that's wrong. But the, the thing is, like, are you prepared to think that's wrong? The fact that you've gone this far this long without being like, oh man, I can't, this Bible study just drives me nuts, tells me you're maybe not picking up on some of the problems they are laying down in your soul with regard to the way they will view sanctification, holiness, uh, righteousness, how you please Jesus. Um, so, or, or even how you hear from Jesus. Now, I could be completely off base, and maybe this is the most Lutheran Wesleyan church there's ever been, and, and they have a high sacramentality for Wesleyans, which is possible, because they're kind of Episcopalians in a weird way. Um, and, uh, and, so, and, and, and they just are so biblical that they really are great. And like I've shared before, like at a certain point, uh, there are all sorts of other non-Lutheran groups that have a far better trust in Jesus than you experience in many Lutheran congregations from the people. So it's not as though uh, uh, all Lutheran churches build you up. It is not. It's not true. So, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, but um, there is no way a Wesleyan's not going to teach you Wesleyanism. And Wesleyanism, at the end of the day, is going to be putting your 
hope back on you. That's bad, right? Um, he says, I feel being too argumentative in a group of people set in their beliefs might cause more harm than good. Well, true. So why are you there? For the fellowship? You mean for the hanging out? Do that everywhere else they are. And just don't go to the Bible study. 